Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Last year's accident. You know, just let me talk until you hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't some sort of medical malpractice happen at your sister's hospital then? Yeah, like, that was in May too. Bad month. Like, yeah, except it's not all bad. May's a pretty good month. I like May. Oh, well, I wonder why. <laughs> that was when I was I meant that one. particular May it was a bad one for that. Oh, month. <laughs> yeah, that was bad May. Like, the thing with all the patients dying was, like, May 2nd. May, May's great, but I think like June's a better month, you know? School's out. You were born. And then Nintendo 64 came out. Hey, but, oh, was that the month that Melee came out? Something like I that. I don't know. I don't know. There were, Melee came out, I think, the year I was born, so. Hmm. And, like, our accident was, like, on the 24th. Two accidents back to back? Do you assume it's just a coincidence? My sis was, like, totally tired, so that's why. Duh! Something really bad happened at my Hold sister's it. clinic! Your sister owned the clinic? <laughs> that was the malpractice incident where 14 patients died, correct? Yeah. What was the cause of the mistake? Like, I heard it was because the medicines, like, got mixed up. Was that the fault of your sister, Mimi Miney? Like, no way! Dr. Gray, like, wanted to blame it on my sis. Objection! That incident has nothing to do with our murder here. Besides, the police report has already documented it was entirely Mimi Miney's fault. Which means as far as the real facts are concerned, Mimi Miney is the one who made the mistake. But, like, it really wasn't my sis. Dr. Gray does seem like he at least knew his stuff. He was just, like, a terrible person. The night... We drove in the car. She was totally tired? You mean exhausted? Is that a car pun? <laughs> yeah. She had to talk she had to talk with the police and was like being investigated like every day. It was like a total terrible situation. That does sound awful. It's no wonder then that the car accident happened, huh? Press harder and leave it be. I don't know. I wonder if There's no point in asking her about her sister. I should be trying to find out more information about Eni. So, like, can I go on? No, you can't. Time travel, baby. So then, why didn't you ask to switch places? Huh? Like, what are you talking about? I mean, switch drivers. If your sister was so tired, then you should have switched with her. True, true. Ah, uh, but, like, I don't, like, have a driver's license. Except you found it, and we have it. Although, I will say, as someone who, you know, we both drive, I haven't driven a ton, even though I have my license. So, like, I sort of understand if she was like, I, I don't know if I feel comfortable, like, driving everything. That, I feel like Amy could be one of the people who's always like, oh, I don't know about driving, I'm like, really not to get over here. Oh, yeah, totally, I can, like, totally do Turn that. Turn left on red. <laughs> 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 But, you know, you don't have to stop at the stop signs if there's a white barrier around <laughs> Oh my god. It's optional. This is news to me. I was not aware you didn't have your license, Miss Miney. Hmm. Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. I mean, if you're in Japan, you probably don't need a license. If you're in America and, like, not in the big city, you need a license. You need a license. Unless you want to pay for Uber everywhere, which is still really sketchy. Like, in my okay. Opinion. Anyway. I was, like, Totally pooped, so I fell asleep. The accident happened at night, correct? Yeah, like, what? It was at, like, 1 a.m. or so, I think. Oh, well, driving at 1 a.m. is already kind of hard. That explains- I had, like, a paper due really soon. So, like, I hadn't slept and was working- Oh, been there, done that this past year was insane. Oh my gosh. Those history papers. I had so many history things. I had, like, no sleep for several days. It was bad. So, I get you, Edie. Like, I know you're probably a murderer. Can I relate to you just a little bit? <laughs> just a little bit. Real hard. 
That's all I didn't say. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Real hard! So it was because the two of you were so tired that this accident happened. What? At least you that... woke up. <gasps> woke up on the jolt and something, something, something. And your sister? What happened to her? I didn't see her. The car was totally black and there was a ton of smoke. I, like, totally had no clue what was going on. I, like, opened the door and got away. Please tell us about your escape in more detail. I, I, like, kept wanting to forget that time. So, like, I don't remember things about the accident in detail anymore. Hmm, well, it's alright. No need to push yourself. I think I, like, gave an interview after the accident. Like, that would probably be the most accurate, you know? Hmm, if it's that article, then I've already got it. And she said, like, exactly the same thing. I, like, didn't have my license, so I couldn't have taken over driving for her. And that's why you were in the passenger seat? Like, yeah. I was, like, at my college's research lab till, like, really late, and I didn't ever get a license. <laughs> So my sis was, like, giving me a ride home. I see. Phoenix. Yes? You can't do this. You're being too easy on her. There's got to be some sort of secret sleeping in this testimony. Yeah, so let's find the crushing contradiction and end this. That was last year, and guess what? We already know what to do and how to get me put in jail. Miss Miney, that was a lame lie just now. Like, what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took for the express purpose of getting a driver's license. Um, how personal. What is the meaning of this, Miss Miney? Uh, um, uh, that's, that's right! Y yeah, I had, like, a license, but... But I didn't get it until after the accident. No, you had it. You had it at the time of the accident. Because that creepy- Director Hottie, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so! What are you talking about? Are you talking about that perverted fake clinic director? Yes, that perverted fake clinic director. And how did you know he was perverted? Ouch! <laughs> no one cares. I care. Oh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Witness, when did, you when did you receive your driver's license? Like, last November. What? N november The accident happened last May. That's a half a year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What in the- That's what happened, Mr. Wright! At the time of the accident, Miss Miney did not have a driver's license. Yet she's lying. Ugh. Ow! Cry and my whip will accommodate. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could not have switched drivers. I'm, like, glad you get it, but, like, even if I had my license, I, like, don't think my sis would have, like, let me drive. It was her super expensive mm. car. Yeah! Don't just stand there, hmm, to yourself. Not you too, Mia, with the whip and the pain and the owl. Wait, Mia stole the whip? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Miss Miney, why do you think you would not have been allowed to drive anyway? Huh? Um, that's because... I think the situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Miney, if you please. Huh? Like, how annoying. Oops, like, sorry, didn't mean to be mean. Witness testimony, I wouldn't be allowed. If it's her sports car, I'm gonna be allowed. Like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars and really valued them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she had just gotten this really shiny <laughs> You called it completely. <laughs> yes! Oh, she had just gotten this really shiny, bright red sports car. She, like, would say things like, No way am I letting a newbie drive my car. So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. Oh my god. You completely called it. <laughs> I was like, well, when we saw that first scene, I was like, oh, what a nice car. I almost thought it was Edgeworth's car. 
<laughs> they stole <laughs> Edward's car and crashed it. <laughs> because he also had a bright red that, car. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hmm, I see. A bright red car for sports. Now then, the defense may question the witness. Hmm, I'm not terribly knowledgeable about cars, uh, but I'm, I'm there with you, yeah, Phoenix. That's why Even though I like, work uh, at a kind of sort of automobile company, I yeah, know nothing about cars. I don't know anything about cars. <laughs> great, so we got three people that don't know anything about cars. This is gonna be great. <laughs> All I know is like Ford, Toyota, <laughs> Chevrolet, and So um, what do you mean by ABS. really close? Like, I had one of those permit things. I think that's what they're called. Um, permit? Wow, the big name lawyer boy doesn't even know what a driver's permit is. Well, this lawyer never had a permit. Wah! Endurance is to be whipped. What is with her? All she's said in the last few minutes is utter nonsense. So, like, may I continue? <coughs> ah, really valued cars. <laughs> she valued cars? How much would you say she valued her car? Well, like, she'd flip out if, like, a drop of rain. And, like, she would notice if someone, like, touched the car door with dirty hands. In that case, why bother taking the car out of the garage ever? Press harder, let her be. <laughs> Gotta press harder. Why did she take such special care of the car? How can you say that? It was a brand spanking new car. New car? Like, you wouldn't want to, like, get it dirty, would you, Mr. Lawyer? This is what car washes are for. I would think that cars getting dirty is just another fact of life, but... I guess people who really love cars think otherwise. Phoenix, try asking something of more significance, all right? Well, Miss Miney, what kind of car was it? It was brand new sports car. It was a new car? Yeah. She had, like, just gotten it. It was, like, from the UK. Hmm? The UK? Was that her boyfriend's initials? And it was a really special model. She had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would be the obvious next topic. Press harder and let her be. But I really don't know anything about cars. But I had a feeling this was bound to come up. Your Honor? Y yes? Please append what the witness just said to her testimony. You mean the part about it being a special car from overseas? Yes. Ugh. Well, if you like cars that much, then... That's not my point! <laughs> Though, to be honest, I don't know what the point is, either. Miss Mighty, would you please fix your testimony? Sure, whatever. My sis's new car was a totally special model from England. I yelled, hold it, pretty forcefully, but... I don't actually know what to ask about cars. Ask for the heck of it! Let's just ask for the heck of it! Cars! Um, so yes, what am I supposed to pick for a topic? Let's talk about cars too, it sucked. Let's start with this, why are British cars good? Like, huh? They're expensive, and their driver's seat is opposite to our cars here in the States. But it would seem, Damn! It would seem there's no benefit to owning in one. Okay, I actually looked this up in the Japanese version. She's like, oh, she got its new car from America. Oh, so they swapped it. Yeah. Okay. That would make more sense, because I was like, Japan and England are, like, one of, like, three... Th there's, like, three countries that drive on the opposite side. That in Germany? Germany, and then I think almost Singapore or something. Oh. If you're from Singapore, but... I mean... Or actually, maybe Germany doesn't do the Germany, I, I think, know. doesn't... I think it was England and Japan, maybe Korea or Singapore. Or, okay. I don't know, one something like that. Yeah. Like... Huh? This whole steering wheel on the right side thing, it's kind of goofy, isn't it? You! What do you know? That sleet shape! The way it starts! And it's smooth! The last thing we got the manual transmission! Ugh, forgive me. Her personality really changes at the drop of a hat. The raw transmission! <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it, Phoenix? Bit by bit, we're beginning to see the real contradiction behind this case. I guess Eni's also obsessed with cars. <laughs> no way am I letting a noob drive my car. Noobie. 
No, it's just noob. Noob? <laughs> was your sister good at driving? She was, like, totally awesome. She, like, said she was going to be the, like, racing queen of the nursing world. Somehow, I think she bumped queen. my question off track again. Racing queen of the nursing world. So, that's why I ended up in- Hold it! <laughs> and that was when the accident occurred, correct? Like, yeah. I, like, immediately reached for the passenger side door. And fled in a daze. Hmm. Sounds like you had a terrifying time. There is something very big here. It's going to be hard to break apart such a- Oh, I already know what this is! Go. It's a different side of the car. Yeah. The passenger's on a different side of the car. Yeah, so? Wait, maybe that wasn't the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I thought she said right side door, and I was gonna be like, Ah! You drove! And you killed her! And I, I don't know, I was gonna... <laughs> I'm just completely what? screwing this up. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing at that. I don't You're just like, You drove! You killed her! <laughs> This is gonna be back. <laughs> we have to attack it, and by doing so, a flaw will show itself. It has to. D do you really think so? No. Believe. There's a path. I know it. Hmm. Mia almost sounded like a prophet for a second. That sounded there. like a high school motivational speaker. Be yourself. <laughs> it's supposed. That's what you're supposed to do, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so you're thinking that it's because it's on the opposite I side? I think it has something to do with the special model from, from England. England. Okay. Because we got that special text for it. <laughs> okay. I think it that is a good logical conclusion to make. We got special text All right, for it. Alright, let's look at the clipping, let's shall we? Let's look at the clipping. Alright, so late last night, two women's car crashed into a highway yep, center divide. ongoing investigation, fell asleep at the wheel. Yep. I really tired, woke up in the sea of flames, I opened the right I don't door. Know. I was I right? You were right. <laughs> oh, this is great. I was so... I don't think you understand the true nature of the contradiction, though. Oh, perhaps not. Miss Miney, do you remember she this article? Driving. That's what it is. Yeah, Eni's totally lying about the license. It's an article about the accident. You had said this in it. But I opened the right door and, like, got out. Ow. That's correct, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger's seat? The left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left side. That would be if it were an American car, but it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite? The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be the left side. Ah! What do you mean by this? Miss Miney, you said that you had escaped using the right side door of the car. But if you were sitting there, then that means you were in the driver's seat. Ah! Uh, order! Order in the court! Order! 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 Ah! Driving, does that mean she was driving illegally? Or no, her sister would have been a girl. Right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. I think she was in her 20s, anyways. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Phoenix Wright is babbling nonsense again. Eenie said that the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Miney. That is what Eenie said, yes, but that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to ask the court a question. Eenie or Mimi? Who was really driving that night? It was it was Eenie. And the answer is Eenie Miney, of course. Well, why would you say that? Miss Eenie Miney just said so herself in her testimony. She said that she escaped the car from the right side door. Which would have been where the driver's seat was. Ow! I'm inclined to feel sorry for a foolish fool who foolishly spends his time foolishly. At that time, Miss Eenie Miney had not yet received her driver's license. She's freaking lying about that, duh. <laughs> it doesn't matter, though, because she had a permit, and her sister's an adult, so That's she could drive. True. Yep. They don't have... Or That's another stupid thing about the case. <laughs> Actually, no, wait. They do have laws, though, about what time you can drive. You can't... Oh! Permit. You can't drive from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Oh, never mind. 
That's I still right. think I she still should be lying about the license. That she would be easy. Be. Hold it, Phoenix. It looks like you still don't see the real truth behind the accident. The, the real truth? Think outside the box. Isn't that what we always say? Uh, all right, one more time. If we connect Clearly all the dots... it is Mimi Miney, then. Apparently. The answer is the one person who had her driver's license, Mimi Miney. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. B but you just said the witness, Miss Mimi Miney, was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. The next question? Who is the person standing on the witness stand right now? Oh! Okay. Yeah. Uh, what sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This witness's name, this witness's name is... I'll tell you what her name really is. Holy cow! <laughs> thing, it's so funny. <laughs> the re her real name is... Morgan! Gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Would the defense please inform the court of its birth name? Um, Phoenix Wright, your honor. Ah, what a relief. I thought you'd forgotten your own name. Again. <laughs> I was beginning to think he forgot, too. Wait a second. I screwed up, didn't I? Big time. <laughs> Look at that penalty! <laughs> Listen, this is the grand finale. Don't fold it back. Don't fold back. That's right, <laughs> don't fold back. Let it all out on this one. Alright, I'll give it my another shot. Alright. No, oh, no! What? I did <laughs> I screwed it up again. Her name is Mimi Miney. That's even more hilarious to me. Mimi Miney, that is your real name. Objection! Of all the foolish dribble! This. Then how do you explain her appearance? When she was admitted into the hospital, this witness was suffering severe facial burns. So, for the purpose of facial reconstruction, they used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery? This is the picture she gave to her doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister. No! But, but Mimi Miney, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. But then, the body they found at this crash site... That was the body of the real Eeny Miney. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Miney? Oh, her face her name disappeared from the text. That also explains why Eeny's eyes look exactly like Mimi's eyes. Well I yeah. That car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Eeny Miney. Her sister Mimi then stole her face and was reborn as Eeny. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Miney from existence. Dang. Your Honor, I'm sure you can now see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. W what do you mean? Ah! What is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Of someone Specifically, who's not dead. the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Miney. However, that would not have been possible. Because Mimi Miney was still, in fact, alive. Oh my gosh. This is so ridiculous, but amazing at the same time. And that fact would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening. At all costs. And... And... And that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling... Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. W w well, Miss Eeny, I mean, Miss Von Karma. Eek! Why did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. W witness? What the? Oh, her eyes look different now. That's right. I admit it. My real name is Mimi Miney. That quack doctor. He got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close! But... but why? 
Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Miney wanted herself to disappear because of this. Oh, shoot. Why'd she want to disappear? Um... Uh... All I can think of right now is the perverted doctor. <laughs> that, is, that is all I can think of! Do you want to go to license yes. <laughs> Of the weird doctor, like, stalking her for life. Just stop. Huh? I feel embarrassed for you to even thinking of showing that piece of evidence. That woman, she had lost everything. So this was the only way to make things right, Phoenix. Looks like this wasn't the right piece of evidence. I'm sorry! I thought that she was trying to get away from her I guess I don't fully understand this case yet. That jerk. Wait, are we going back? If only he hadn't fought oh, wow. oh, yeah. mumbo-jumbo. Oh, you don't actually have to do it. It's this. That's... That's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Miney. That's right, the person standing before us today. That's why I don't want to be nurse! And after a few weeks after this mishap... <gasps> Mimi Miney had a car accident, in which she lost her younger sister. The timing couldn't have been worse. Fourteen patients dying in that incident, and then her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister, and even her own face. This was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. This is really depressing, but... Oh, and to make it even more depressing, some people believe that she actually didn't want to do that, and she just accidentally grabbed Amy's purse. And they're like, what did she look like? Oh, that's what she looked like. That'd and it was a mistake. Worse. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of that channeling mumbo-jumbo. Mumbo-jumbo? Becoming Eni has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling, the occult... I hate it! I hate it all! I still think that's a great twist. <laughs> I believe there are still a few unsolved riddles here. Why did you set a murderous revenge plot into motion? And why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help you with the plan? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. The innocence of the defendant, Maya Fay. But I want to know what happened! <laughs> this... This is preposterous! I... I'm perfect! I love that hand slamming. <laughs> Me, Francisco Bon Karma! I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Yow! Oh! And one more for good measure! Then out he goes. Phoenix! Hang in there, Phoenix! Phoenix! Snake! This word is a fraud! A sham! Now then, it looks like it will be some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness. <laughs> so I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Nine. Guilty. That means fear. He's out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yay, Maya. That is all. This court is adjourned. Will someone please uh, punish Francisca for, like, <laughs> beating us up? June 22nd, 3.13 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Congratulations, Maya. It's good to see you. Oh, and it's good to see you, Maya. <laughs> that is definitely actually that's more closer to Mia's canonical voice. Objection! It's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing, sis? Sis, I, I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis, in my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside that clothing box, right? That, that box, that was
was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. Hmm, there is still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Miney had planned to open the door to the chamber herself. And then, you and Lana would have witnessed quite a scene. Opposed Maya Fey, who had possessed. just- Possessed. Maya Fey, who had just committed a murder. Posed Maya Fey is very different. Opposed Maya Fey- oh, oh, Now the Maya Fey action figure, you can pose Woo! <laughs> <laughs> she had it planned down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick! Congrats, Maya! Thanks! Looks like you bailed me out on another jam! Well, you know. But... I really don't want something like this to happen ever again! I'm fine because I had you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, and now my aunt. Oh, I guess her aunt is in jail for yep. some reason. Hey, Nick, tell me- Because she's an accomplice to the murder. Well, but we don't- They didn't explain it! They didn't show her, like, <sighs> like doing anything. <laughs> I wanted yeah, to you see can... a picture. <laughs> tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible. Branch family. Why would she help Miss Mimi Mimi with a plan like that? I just... I just don't understand it, Nick. Maya, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please, I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan was... The Branch family. You're completely correct. But obviously... She did it for the- <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. Even I don't really know why Morgan collaborated with Mimi Miney. Look, this whole thing is over now, so let's not dwell on the past, okay? Yeah, thanks, Nick. I just don't have the answer to this one. I'm just as confused about the situation as she is. So why the thanks? Alright. Okay. Because of Pearl. Pearly? Four years from now, a new master will be born into Korean Village. And that person will be you, Maya. And? But if you weren't there, then the main family's bloodline would disappear. And what would happen then? The Branch family. My aunt. No, Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. The next person would be... Pearls. Ah! Everything was done for her sake. It was also that Pearls would become the next master. I can't believe I predicted half of this. Yeah, you really did. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see that. It, you you predicted pretty much all the stuff you could. However, I did see one Let's Player who completely 100% predicted that it was actually Mimi Miney. Oh, I didn't predict that at all. That or was... as soon as like she heard about like the like the director had, oh yeah, she had like facial reconstruction surgery. She's like like the like lady who's playing was like. Oh, I know what this is all about. Really? <laughs> like, everyone who was watching was just like, How oh, did she figure that out? <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> did Maya say something just now? I think that she was saying, I thought so. Well, I mean, she was kind of a jerk. What? We didn't see- Date and time unknown, detention center, solitary confinement cell, 13. Oh. My precious Pearl, you were the only one suitable to be the master of Karain, dear child. I sacrificed it all, all for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out her murder and cooperated with that whippy happy prosecutor. <laughs> whippy happy, man! <laughs> whippy happy! <laughs> Never mind. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl. That Maya Faye. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. Thanks. <laughs> and that's a creepy end to Reunion and Turnabout, everybody. And I'm so pumped, because guess what? We got a new case, and it's... Turnabout Big Top. <laughs> oh! Okay! Everyone hates this case, and I love I it. I like... I liked The Greatest Showman, so maybe I'll like this. Okay, if you hate the circus case, you out there in YouTube land, 
What's wrong with Privet? I'm changing your mind about that. Okay. <laughs> this is apparently Artie's favorite. All right. No, it's not my favorite. Well, not by a long shot, but I'd say it's better than the first two cases. Oh, but I like the second case. I had mixed oh, feelings about the second cute. case. I just, I can't get past the whole, like, this trial is stupid. Why is this even happening? Uh, it was it was weird, but I liked it. Well, all right. I'll point out a lot of the problems people say about this, and I'll point out why they're incorrect. Okay. And a lot of hilarious characters. So look forward to that, everybody. Tune in next time for, um, The Circus. The I circus. love The Circus. Have a great day, and God bless. Bye.